There's the turnover. Camba up to DeAndre Jones. Beal defending back to Camba. Dumps it down! And the lead is one. Bears have gotten back within one. Great job there on the fast break. Beal thought DeAndre Jones was going to take it in. Instead, the no-look feed to Camba. And Camba with the flush. Four feeds it to Taby at the left elbow. Skip pass right corner to Angel Williams. Launches a three. And the Sugar Bears are on the board with a three-pointer from Angel Williams. UCA gets the possession back. Taby being defended by Shaley Braley. Gives it on the right side to Sales. Back up high to Angel Williams. Left long alone. And Angel Williams has buried her second three-pointer to pull the Sugar Bears back within one. To Taylor Sales with 3.15 to go in the first quarter. Sales crossover against Morrison. Tries to beat her right. Now she'll try to go left. Bounces it underneath to McKaylin Hicks. Hicks up and under. Off the glass for two. Nice move by Hicks. By Morrison. She beats her left. Bounces it to Hicks on the baseline. Hicks back out to Antonia. Wide open three. On the way. Good. Antonia Boisich. Wide open. And another assist from the Sugar Bear Post. Back out to Tay B with 10 on the shot clock. Sales back out to Antonia. She'll penetrate, pull up, jumper. Good, Antonia Boisich with five straight points. Central Arkansas back to within three with 149 to go in the first quarter. Back out to Sales. Sales lost control, recovers. Three on the clock. Goodner lets it fly with two on the shot clock and buries the three as the shot clock expires. Link. Sales drives, kicks it back out to Goodner. Jab step, Lange will let the long shot fly. From the top of the lane, Hannah Lange knocks down the jumper. Flip to Sales. Crossover, Sales all the way in down the left side. Gets bumped, no call to Lange. Underneath off the glass, we're tied. We are tied. Lange with five points in the quarter. Ties it up, 25. Lange top of the lane, eight on the shot clock. Drives in against her, goes up off the glass, and it's good. Hannah Lange took it right at Williams. Again, the shot clock and dead clock, dead even. Game clock, dead even. Antonio Long, three, the Sugar Bears have the lead. The top over shoulder catch by Tay B. Five on the shot clock. She'll pull up the jumper, and it goes in. Her first basket of the game, defensively and on the offensive end, really. Antonia has the ball, launches a deep three. Good to her third of the game. Antonia Boisich with the three in Central Arkansas. Has their largest lead. To Sales wisely at the top of the lane with nine on the shot clock. Antonia wide open for three. It's good. It's good. Back-to-back threes by Antonia Boisich. 38-33 timeout, Southeastern Louisiana. Lady Alliance played well in the first and third quarter. Central Arkansas dominated the second quarter. Taby with a little hook shot, rolls over the front of the rim. Good, her second bucket of the game. Those are now four fouls. Inbound into Orr, who launches a quick three underneath KJ with the rebound. High off the glass, she gets her first bucket. Orr looking low, bounces it to KJ. Right up against Williams, a little hook shot with her left hand, goes up and over and through. Jordan with back-to-back buckets, pulls the Sugar Bears back to within one. Holding it, hits KJ, they hand it back off to Orr, she'll drive baseline, kicks it to Angel Williams, back out to Taylor Sales as they reverse the basketball nicely to Williams for three, and the lead, it's good! Angel Williams with her third three-pointer of the game, 52-50 Central Arkansas. Tavy on the right block will be defended by Shaley Braley. Also, if the Lady Lions commit a foul, that will send the Sugar Bears to the line to shoot two. KJ has the ball, top the lane, drives left against Williams, off the glass, hangs on the rim, good! 1.5 seconds remaining, Jordan ties us up, they get a half-court shot off for the win, no good! We are headed to overtime! The senior from Jackson, Mississippi with a scoop shot off the glass, hangs on the rim, drops through good! Amory Orr picked up her game in the fourth quarter, lobs it to KJ underneath, pulls over Williams, hangs on the rim, drops through good, Central Arkansas! With a 57-55 lead. Those are dribbles it out to the right wing. Out to Antonia for the lead. Three-pointer. Good. It's good. It's good. Antonia Boisich again with a three. That is one, two, three, four, five of them in this game. 60-59. to 59. Two free throws upcoming. This first one for the tie. It's on its way. And we are not tied as it hits off the back of the rim. And UCA has missed three out of five free throw opportunities here in overtime. They have missed three out of five. This one could tie it up, but the Lady Lions could hold for the final shot. It's Kira Jordan for the tie. Yes, it's good. Kira Jordan ties it up. Timeout, Lady Lions will inbound the basketball in the front court. Drops over Underwood, drives, spins, and throws it to the right corner. One on the clock, shot on the way. No good, we're going to a double overtime. The shot was blocked by Kira Jordan. It never made it to the goal. We are headed to double overtime. 11 on the shot clock, bounces it to McKaylin Hicks with eight on the shot clock. Hicks will tie the game up with a running jumper in the lane. McKaylin Hicks in this game is now six points and six rebounds. MK ties it up, going back. Sugar Bears fall apart in the final minute and a half. They're being outscored nine to two as Boisich will fire three from the right corner and hit her sixth of the game, but it may be too little too late. 
Six three-point shots. The Sugar Bears down by six foul with 20.6 seconds remaining. Seven seconds remaining, and Central Arkansas is going to walk off the floor with a loss here in Hammond, America. Final shot by Angel Williams missing your final score here this afternoon. It is 78-70, southeastern Louisiana with the double overtime victory here today, snapping an eight-game losing streak to Central Arkansas, and they do it in double overtime. Your incredible lives are what make Arkansas so special. That's why doing our part to keep you amazing is our mission. By providing the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury and giving comprehensive care to support your recovery, we're your guide to health. All so you can keep on giving, keep on inspiring, and keep on amazing. For the care that keeps you amazing, visit baptist-health.com. The countdown to Katy has begun. The Southland Conference Basketball Tournament, March 7th through 11th at the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. Experience it live as Southland teams compete for a tournament title and a chance to go to the dance. It's affordable family fun and great college hoops action. Tickets for the Southland Conference Basketball Tournament are on sale through school ticket offices and Ticketmaster.com. Uh, five points, four and a half rebounds a game, playing about 17 minutes a game. And, uh, well, first of all, McKaylin, thanks for joining us. And uh, obviously this year, you know, you get to learn under some pretty talented and experienced post players. Well, what's it been like, I guess, transitioning into this team with some of those established folks inside? Well, I mean, it was a it was a really big, like, difference and transition for me because back home, you know, it was kind of all on me. But now I'm with people that, you know, I kind of have to look up to and learn from. And um, – but but they do a pretty good job of, you know, leading me and telling me, you know, how to, like, adjust to what's going on and the speed of the game. But so far it's been it's been good learning from them and watching them. Yeah. A lot of times with the freshmen, the grind of the season starts to, to wear on you about this time of the year. And luckily you all only had the one game last week, same situation this week, got the game Wednesday with Houston Baptist here and then, and then no game on the weekend. And I know Coach is probably looking forward to a little more practice time again. I don't know if y'all are looking forward to that or not. But uh, as far as uh, as far as the grind goes, how, how have you handled that as far as, you know, physically and, and mentally and trying to, you know, sort of keep on top of things? Mentally, it's kind of tough. But, I mean, it's kind of tough for everybody, honestly. But um, it's just something that, like, everything in this game, it kind of comes within, you know. But – we we've kind of hit a, a spot right now, and I feel like mentally, you know, we have to we have to get out of it. That's the fight. The fight is not really physically; it's mentally with us. But we'll come out of that that hole soon, yeah. fast. If it's up to coach, we'll come out of it fast. I know that's right. Well, what about uh, the advantage, I guess, of playing under Coach Rogers down at, at El Dorado and her familiarity with what happened here or what went on here and how they do things here? Uh, how much did that help you? Maybe give you a little bit of a leg up on on some of the other incoming freshmen. A lot. It, it really helped a lot. I was I was so thankful for her to actually come down and prepare me, you know, for what was coming. And she did a pretty good job of preparing me for what was coming because you, you know, as a high school player, you have your ways, and you know, you need to mature pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So you know, I kind of had a little heads up on how things were going to be here, how tough it was going to be, and it has been tough but yeah. I always have to remember that it could be a whole lot tougher you know I feel like some of the things you know coach hasn't really showed me yet or come out with but it may come out one day talking to McKaylin Hicks uh, freshman post player here at, at Central Arkansas and inside UCA basketball what's been harder uh, coming from high school the the basketball side of things or, or the classroom stuff the classroom stuff really doesn't bother me you know I just I know that I have to get my work done, you know. If not, then there are consequences to that. So I don't really too much worry about that part. The whole basketball and adjusting is just like the speed of the game, of course, mm -hmm. that also picks up. And knowing, you know, knowing your role and what you're, you know, what you're supposed to do right now. And then you have to, you know, think about you can't be hard on yourself because you have time to develop, you know. So I'm going to be here. I have time to develop, and I know that there are things that I have to work on, and that's what I'm going to do. Here I am back at UCA. This is where I got my start. Acting in plays, studying literature, writing scripts. Campus has grown so much in the last few years, and the technology is incredible. UCA is where I learned the craft of storytelling. 
and got ready for a career in New York and LA. That's how I got here. Go here and go anywhere. Go UCA. What does it mean to be Southland strong? It's not just big wins. It's success in the classroom. And being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are Southland strong. About to start it up here. Bears and their road purples. The ones I prefer against Southeastern. And they go quickly to work. Unruh on the other end. Layup. After a win of the tip for the Bears, they get it up to Unruh on the left wing. And he drives in for the layup to get the Bears started off right. Driving right side. Stops to Camba. Baseline. Matthew up. Finger roll good. Beautiful feed by DeAndre Jones. And a great finish by Matthew Camba. In the game against Southeastern and Conway. Cobell skip pass. Camba left wing three on the way. That's good. Matthew Camba knocks it down. And the Bears lead it 7-4. to four. So Currington missing on the second go-round. And the Bears catch a break. Right wing three. On the way, DeAndre Jones is good! And the Bears leading three-point shooter by percentage. Knocks it down from the right wing. Five on three. Unruh. Extra pass, Howard. Corner three. Pointer on the way is good! And that is good, Jordan Howard. Side to Caps they go. Push down on the baseline. Shot up, blocked by Koval. Gets it back. Blocked again. Koval gets it! Great job by Hayden down low. Blocks two of Caps' shots. Howard, drive. Shot up the glass is good. 15 to 6, and the Bears are rolling. Caps really plays more around the rim. Cope, Camba bumped. No foul call, but he asserts himself and finishes right around Currington. Beautiful drive by Matthew Camba. Passed up on the shot. DeAndre Jones has it, picks up a screen. He'll drive all the way in. Tough shot off the glass is good. Beautiful job by the freshman there, hanging in the air. Unruh, he'll go baseline. Against Polanco, shot up and good, and the count it. Beautiful drive there by Montesir to Ethan Lee. Tanner Schmidt, baseline jumper on the way is good. Tanner Schmidt, bucket. Drops it to Howard. Baseline, kick. Camba had a three, didn't want it. Cobal straightaway three. It's good. Extra pass by Matthew Camba. Pays off. And an unforced error that time. I guess it somewhat forced. He dribbled into traffic, so I'll give Southeastern some credit. Montesir, left-hand dribble, pull-up jumper is good. Matthew Montesir. Showing a little offense there. Haven't seen that move this year. Was transition defense. Didn't want to give up anything easy. Inside to Cam, but nice pass from Montes here as the Bears go right back at him. Does turn it over. Try to make a quick pass. Veal goes the other end to Caps off the backboard into the hands of Tanner Schmidt. And the Bears want to run. Jordan Howard to Camba. Pull up left wing. Three is good. And the Bears right the shit as they extend the lead to seven. Camba top of the key. Right wing DeAndre. He'll get a screen from Lee. Nice screen by Ethan. He rolled, and DeAndre lost it, saves it. Camba, three on the way from the left corner. Good again! Matthew Camba, Trey Bien, three for three from three. And the Bears may have to go back to that zone. Howard, nice find by Jones, the bucket good. Jordan Howard with the bucket from about six feet. Camba's second free throw is no good. Caps tips it up, but Camba gets it back. Stick up, good! Matthew Camba is on a roll today! Russ Pennell out of midcourt in the coach's box. Unruh, left-hand drive, shot up and good. And that's Unruh having a nice first half as well. Now working around to DeAndre Jones, left wing. Now to Camba, right side. Going to go by Caps, driving in, shot off the glass and good. That was not an easy shot there. Good defensive possession there. Position by Caps, rather. Just uh, not a lot going on. Koval, right wing three, badly missed. Rebound Camba, got hit in the head, no foul called. Second attempt is good, though, by Camba. Now left wing Camba. Skip pass to the corner to Unruh. Catch and pass. They work it around to DeAndre Jones. Three on the way is good for the freshman who falls to the floor. No foul call, but a nice job there by Singleton. Now Montes here. Now Howard. Guarded by Veal. Pull up jumper. Right wing on the way. And good. Good defense by Veal. Better offense by the nation's third leading scorer, Jordan Howard. Drop it down to Cam on the baseline. Camba to Unruh. Three on the way from the right wing. Banked it in. Oh, Marlon Veal ran out at Thatch Unruh, and Thatch banks it in from the right wing, ties it at 57. Well, just uh, Bears not looking in sync. Jones picks the pocket of Veal into the front court. Three on two, leaves it for Camba. Camba, step over, layup, good. Beautiful play by DeAndre Jones with the steal from Veal and the no-look lead for Camba, who finished it off to cut the lead to four. What a play by the freshman. 
Now to DeAndre Jones, left wing. Jordan Howard against Veal. Pull-up jumper. Good for three. Jordan Howard cuts the lead in half. 67-64. Drop it down to him on the baseline. Double team. Montesir, three on the way from the right wing. Good! Matthew Montesir, big three. And a nice job by Matthew Camba passing out of the double team. Five on the shot clock. DeAndre down to Camba on the baseline. Layup good. As Greenwood risk reward and he failed in the attempt. Dove in there to try to get the steal. Fell to the floor. They're going to need a few stops in a row here. And they're seeming, seemingly having a difficult time getting one. Jordan Howard going to work. I can't see, but he knocked a shot down. Pulled up for the jumper, and that was not an easy shot. And to Caps, who's going to go against Koval. Driving, shot up, blocked out of there. Saved by Camba to Jordan Howard. So good defense that time by the Bears against Caps. Howard going to work, driving, fader. Yes! Hangs on the rim and falls through. The lead is one for the Lions. 3.04 to go. Bears down three, need to stop here. 1.46 to go. And there's the turnover, Camba. Up to DeAndre Jones. Veal defending. Back to Camba. Dunks it down. And the lead is one. Bears have gotten back within one. Great job there on the fast break. Veal thought DeAndre Jones was going to take it in. Instead, the no-look feed to Camba. And Camba with the flush. So, Bears up to Howard. Jordan Howard. Pull up. Deep three. Right wing on the way. Good. Jordan Howard. Are you kidding me? 87 points for the Lions. And Jordan Howard's three. Cuts the lead to five, 87-82. That was deep. Bears outscored at the free throw line by 11, and they lose today by five. That's the difference. A lot of whistles going the way of the Lions, not many going the way of the Bears. But give the Lions credit. Came back and outscored the Bears 54-41 in the second half. Central Arkansas again falls to all even. 12-12 on the season, 6-5 in conference play. Next up, a trip to Houston Baptist. Coming up on Wednesday. At UCA, students come in with the second highest ACT and GPA in the state and leave with a career that's second to none. The University of Central Arkansas. Go here and go anywhere. At UCA, we have the second highest on-campus undergraduate enrollment in the state for a reason. Lots of reasons, actually. The University of Central Arkansas. Go here and go anywhere. Coach, 1-9 and nine in conference, but this is a dangerous team, and uh, they lost one of their leading scorers, their center, Josh Ibarra, who I think people who followed the South and know him pretty well. Nine games in, he's been out, but they've got a few guys, a couple of really young guys who have lit it up, and uh, Carraher, who's a freshman, fifth in the league in scoring at yep. 16 points a game, and uh, Dubose had 23 in the last game, and, and Jalen Gates, a sophomore, 21, so they've got a, a good young nucleus, but we know that obviously can come with some uh, trial by fire for sure. Yeah, no question. I, I, I think the biggest thing with, with Houston Baptist is you, you can't let them get going and just turn it into a scoring game. They shoot the three really well. The fact that they are playing young guys, you know, a lot, a lot of times young guys just – they don't even know the, uh, you know, the, the moments that big. They just play. And uh, I've told our, our team all year long that these teams that have one and, and zero wins, they're going to win one. They, they just are, and you just don't want to be the victim. And in this case, we only play them once. And we have to go down there and treat this just like we're playing the best team in the league. And uh, you can't get caught up. Uh, I, I've told them they need to see blank faces and blank jerseys. They yeah. just have to play. And uh, this team is dangerous. I do like their young pieces, and I think uh, that bodes well for them in the future. Well, they are playing eight guys and eight guys only. It's been consistent the last several games. But they lost to Nichols by one, McNeese by five, overtime to Corpus Christi, and that was just a couple games ago. Mm -hmm. That's good Corpus, a Corpus team that's starting to figure it out, beat Incarnate Word early in the year. Uh, and the 20-point loss to SFA last Wednesday – Forced 24 turnovers, so dangerous team to be sure. But if you like offense, should be a lot of fun to watch because that's a team that's pretty good offensively. Yeah, and, and I will say this. I, I think the weakness right now, and it's because they're young, I, I just don't think they're as great on defense as they would like to be. They, they force some turnovers, um, but I, I think that we feel like we can score. We just have to stop them and, and do a really nice job of not letting them get going and get their head up because at some point – team starts making shots and they see the finish line we get a chance to win one and man it's hard to turn turn them uh, back the other way and and shut off their offensive flow when they get it going coach uh, i don't always take questions from the crowd but we've got one from uh, someone who's seen a game or two along the way so let's let susan ask a question here go ahead thank you justin coach your young men are so much fun to watch 
Thank uh, you. Especially when they're winning, and it's easy to have a, a good ending when you're ahead. But your boys don't ever have any quit in them. When they're behind and they're getting close to the end of the game, they're fighting just as hard as they were at the beginning. Is that instilled in them? Is that internal? Is that the kind of young men that you recruit? Is that something you can coach? I think it's that's a great question. Good question. And, uh, you Thank know, you. I, I think that's uh, probably a little bit of both. Um, the young men on our team all come from really good backgrounds, come from uh, strong parenting. I, I, I've got an unusual team from this standpoint that almost every one of my guys have two parents, mm -hmm. which is unusual nowadays. Um, I, I think you can see the influence of a strong dad in their lives and also uh, you know, a, a strong mother. And so they come to us with that. But one of the things I feel like our coaching staff and myself in, in particular, it's our obligation to instill in them life lessons. And one of the biggest ones I think, and I tell our guys this all the time, I think one of the greatest characteristics a human being has is perseverance. Because life just doesn't usually deal you the greatest hands year after year, month after month. Usually something in life is going to go wrong. Some You're not going to get the promotion. Perhaps an untimely timely death in the family you didn't you know you didn't uh, pass the test uh, you know whatever lose a tough game and you honestly always have two options you can either quit or you can keep going and I think that we're learning more and more and I heard uh, uh, Thatch an interview with you you talked some uh, with, with him and he talked about perseverance and it made me really happy because I know that the message is getting through and when you have that persevering type attitude and personality then you don't quit when games get difficult you don't look at the final score there's a job to be done and until the horn goes off the job isn't complete and so that's uh, I, I think that that's something that they're embracing and I think that's going to carry you when you get good enough to win those games too you'll see some come from behind type get wins and uh, we, we feel real proud and real confident that our guys are getting that message coach I know you all are heading out tomorrow morning down to Houston to take on the Huskies on Wednesday night um and this is, again, back-to-back -back now, unique situation where you only have the one game in a week's time, and I know you're going to utilize that probably in a couple different ways. Yeah, um, I'm going to leave uh, Houston and, and go out recruiting for a day. The team will travel home on Thursday, and I'll go see a game uh, on uh, Thursday night and um, get back to uh, Conway pretty late, and then we'll get back and practice on uh, Friday, Saturday, give them Sunday off, and then get ready for uh, – two at home that we're really excited about. Yeah, for the last six after Wednesday's game at home, a great way to finish things off, and hopefully the Bears can take advantage of that. Good luck Wednesday night, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.